in life do we have circuits that are just parallel or just series? Usually, you get a combination of the two. So, this would be circuit six from the lab. Okay. If you pulled out light bulb A, think what other light bulbs, what other light bulbs are turned off? Thumbs up when you have an answer. Pull out A, B and C go out. Okay. This is not a complete circuit. Here's the number one rule when evaluating these. Current cannot go in two different directions in the same wire. Okay. This would be current going in the two different directions in the same wire. It's like having water go in two different directions in a hose. Like that's just weird. Can't. Doesn't happen. Okay. If you pulled out light bulb B, what other light bulbs would go out? None would go out. They would continue to go through. If you pulled out C, none would go out. They would continue to go through. Good with that? So what we can say is B and C are in parallel to each other. X is in series with B and C. You okay with that? Okay. So to evaluate these, what we're going to do um, is we're going to mathematically boil these down to one resistor. It's called equivalent resistance. Essentially, it's called finding the total resistance. Okay. So you have two ohms here, you have two ohms here, and two ohms here. We're just making that up. Okay. Now, um, first thing, we're not going to mess with A because A affects the whole circuit. It's too big of a bite. So we're going to say that B and C are wired in parallel with each other. All right with that? So we're going to find the total resistance of those two. So 1 over R is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1 over 1. Find the reciprocal of that, and it's still 1. This next step is where you're going to fight me. I'm going to tell you emphatically to redraw the circuit. And you're like, what? <laughs> Why <are> you... <laughs> That's just stupid. Why would you do that? Just... The reason why you would do that is because I know what's coming tomorrow. And redrawing the circuit is, a, is an essential step be able to be successful tomorrow. You might be able to pull it off without redrawing circuits today, but tomorrow will clean your clock if you don't redraw the circuits. If you redraw the circuits, you will be fine. Okay. So does that make sense redrawing it? So I just boiled that B and C down to this resistor. So if I pull out A, BC goes out. If I pull out BC, A goes out. So these two are wired in series. Let's find total resistance in series. I just add them up <clears throat> and redraw. So the equivalent resistance is three ohms. This circuit and this arrangement with these resistors has a total resistance of three ohms. Good with that? Okay, questions?
Okay. Circuit seven. If I take a light bulb A, think to yourself what other light bulbs go out. C goes out. All right, take out light bulb B. What other light bulbs go out? Nothing goes out. You still have a complete circuit. You take out light bulb C. What other light bulbs go out? A goes out because this doesn't light light bulbs. You have current going two different directions. So just because it touches it, it needs to go through it and back home, back to the negative side. Make it turn on. You good with that? Okay. So here is what we will do. I'll show you the right way, and then I'll show you a popular error. So, because A turns off C and C turns off A, those two affect each other and only each other. So, we're going to wire those in series. And redraw. So, this is two ohms, two ohms, two ohms. Blah, blah, blah. So this is AC wired in series. This now has four ohms. You okay with that? Just two plus two. And this is B with two ohms. If I pulled out AC, does B go out? I pulled out B, does AC go out? So this would be a strong indication that B and AC are in parallel. Here's the, really the reason why. As the current goes out, there's a choice. It splits. So these two are wired in parallel. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 is equal to 3 fourths. So R is equal to 4 thirds. Redraw. Good with that. So the equivalent resistance is 4 thirds ohms. I remember to find the reciprocal, the total resistance. Good with that? Here's a popular error. Ready for this? <coughs> so don't do this. Like, oh, look, B and C are parallel with each other. They're geometrically parallel. If I pull out B, C doesn't go off. If I pull out C, B doesn't go off, which is true. However, when you pull out C, that affects something else. If as you're pulling out light bulbs and you're trying to collect them or group them, and one of these affects something else outside of that grouping, you need to just take a step back and deal with that issue first before you start collecting it with other things. 
Does that make sense? There is an order of operations. Like you will get the problem wrong if you do the groupings in the incorrect order. Okay. You must deal with issues of light bulb affecting another one before you deal with that. Okay. All right. Ready to kick it up a notch? Why not? Right? Okay, if I pull that A, what other light bulbs go off? It's think in your brain. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Correct answer is all of them. Okay, this is illegal. That is not a complete circuit. Okay, B, if I pull that B, which other light bulbs? Turn off. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Correct answer is D goes out. The rest stay on. When I pull out C, what light bulbs go out? Nothing. Everything stays on. When I pull out D, B goes out. There we are at that one. This is does not turn the light bulbs on. Okay. And E. Everything goes out. Good to that. Okay. So to evaluate this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to stay away from four and five because that knocked out everything. Okay, that's way too big of a bite. Um, the trend is, this is not an always, but the trend is start away from the power supply and work in. Not an always, but okay. So if I pulled out um, two, one goes off. If I pull that one, two goes off. So these two are wired in series. Okay, redraw. Popular question is, where should I draw this resistor? Anywhere on here is fine. You could do, put it here, you could put it here, you could put it down here, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this has three ohms. This is there in series. Good with that? Okay. Four and five still affect everything. Six doesn't affect anything. Three doesn't affect anything. So three and six, we can say, are wired in parallel because the current has a choice here. Okay, so those two are wired in parallel. So you have one over R is equal to one over three plus one over six equals three six one half R is equal to two. Redraw. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. So a, a question that comes up often is like, what happened to all that wire? Why is resistance T instead of 1 over T? Great question. So uh, 1 over R is equal to 1 half. I want to know what R is. Okay. So if I pulled out 3 and 6, it would shut off these two. So that's why I can combine those together to like and draw it like this. Okay. So if I pulled out four, everything goes out. If I pulled out two, everything goes out. If I pulled out five, everything goes out. So I can conclude they affect each other and only each other. These are all in series. Redraw. Equivalent resistance of 11 ohms. How are you doing there? When I was in your shoes, this unit was actually fun. Like relatively compared to like static electricity. I was like, oh, I can do this. Like this is just, these are just puzzles. Like this is, For me, it was an encouraging breath of fresh air. All right, for this one, Take a peek at it. I'm going to start pulling out light bulbs. Figure which ones go off, which ones go on. Okay. If I pull out A, which light bulbs go off? B and C go off. I had this question in high school. I got it wrong because here's what I thought. <coughs> B and C stays on because look, complete circuit. Where is my air? I got current going two different ways in one wire. Okay. Pull out B. Everything stays on. Pull out C. Everything stays on. Pull out D. E goes out. Pull out E, D goes out. Good with that? Okay, I'm going to not go through the math, but I'm gonna show you how they group together. Okay. Yep, sure can. So the current can't continue on back to the power supply. You can't do this. Then you have current going in two different directions in this wire. It has to be a complete start out of the positive and end up in the negative in order to turn on a light bulb. Does that make sense? Like it can't do a U-turn here. Like, whoop. Okay. All right. So, in one step, you could say these are series, and in the same step, you could say these are parallel. Go 
right with that. The next step would say A is in series with B and C. And finally, the red and the blue would be in parallel. You okay with that? Doing it that way, that's not redrawing the circuit. I get it that it's easier, but come tomorrow, you're going to be kicking yourself like, ah, I should have redrawn the circuits. Okay. Here's a popular error for this problem. Oops. So this will boil down to nine. Everybody all right with that? Okay, here's the popular error. Don't do this. Like, hey, if I pull out one, nothing goes out. If I pull out two, nothing goes out. If I pull out nine, nothing goes out. Oh, so that one, two, and nine, they're all in parallel. If I pulled out one and two, that's going to affect three. I need to deal with that first before I deal with those. You okay with that? That's I see I see this a lot. Okay. All right. The rest of the time is yours. Do what you need to. I've printed off this homework. So Listen, I've already, the tree has already been killed. Okay? So use its carcass to redraw. Okay?